Hello, welcome to Tips and Tricks at Bogey Hills Country Club. Beautiful St. Charles July day, a little muggy, but uh, could be a lot worse. Not too bad out here. Uh, today I'm gonna go over how to properly fix ball marks. I get asked this all the time, and there is a correct way and an incorrect way to do it. So um, I've got a couple ball marks here I created. The first thing I usually do is um, I'll notice that the ball mark, you know, the ball came in from this direction. So the, the brunt of the force is on the backside. So I'll come to the backside and I'll either use my putter or my thumb. This thing's getting blurry. So I'll use my thumb this first time. I'll use my thumb and I'll kind of press that back in. So once I press that back in, that's already half the ball mark. Really simple. Uh, so pull out the ball mark tool. And so what's really important here is we want to push the turf forward into the, the ball mark. We don't want to take and lift that up. When you take and lift the turf up, what you're doing is you're, you're cutting off the roots. So the roots are down in the soil. You pull that up and you're pulling the roots up. You pull the roots up and you're uh, pretty surely gonna kill the plant. So the, the way to do this is put the ball mark tool in at an angle and then push forward. And you can come back as far as you need to. So in at an angle, push forward, go all the way around it, forward, forward. I even do a little twist. Um, and I'll come around it maybe even a second time if necessary and just kind of keep pushing all that turf back into that ball mark. Um, so now at this point, it's a hairy uh, lifted surface. Let's see if I can kind of catch that there. Got the golf ball in the background. So you can see that whole surface is lifted. So uh, the thing that every golfer does correctly usually is simply tap it back down. Let my camera refocus. Just get it tapped right back into place. And I can guarantee you, this turf right here, you, you, can, you can't even tell the difference. Um, there'll be no dead area like this guy here. Um, that, that's gonna fully recover and we're gonna have no issues moving forward. So I've got one more ball mark. I'll do this one more time. So once again, the, the ball came in this direction. So the brunt of the force is on the backside. So this time, instead of using my thumb, I'll use my putter, which is probably what most people do. Unfortunately, sometimes that's where they stop is they'll, they'll use a putter, say, oh, that's good enough, and, and they, they move on. So I use my putter. I'm just gonna kind of push this forward, kind of push it. And so once again, once you do that, half the battle's already done. So now you have a pretty small ball mark. And once again, you can take your divot tool at an angle and push it forward. All right, so we're gonna go at an angle to the outside, push it forward, angle outside, push it forward, angle outside, push forward, and again, and again, and again, and again, however many times it takes. This isn't a crater by any means, so uh, minimal effort necessary. Tap her down. And if this ball mark was right next to the hole, the next golfer would have no issue making a putt going right through it. That's it. It's really simple. When done properly, I will say since I've started here, it's my ninth year. Um, I think the membership has done a very good job, maybe, maybe through some education, but has done a really good job of repairing ball marks uh, since the time that I started. So I appreciate all that. Uh, I appreciate everyone uh, and, and um, their cooperation. And thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys all learned something and can uh, utilize it on a golf course. Thanks. Bye-bye.